With the release of the Oculus Quest 2, VR has finally hit its stride as a mainstream product. No longer were headsets out of the price range of the average consumer, and more people than ever are experiencing just what makes VR so special. With that new exposure comes new games and experiences that go above and beyond what any of us thought were possible. One such experience that bucked all expectations was Thrill of the Fight. A boxing game that puts you front and center in the ring, in the middle of the action. While there were other boxing games available in VR, none of them gave us the realism we received while playing Thrill of the Fight. While games like Creed Rise to Glory gave us a great presentation, it was bogged down by a ridiculous stamina system that had your boxer getting winded after just a few punches. Thrill of the Fight, on the other hand, relies on your skill and stamina to make it through the fight. If you got winded, you better cover up as you catch your breath or you will find yourself flat on your back looking up at those lights. You had to use strategy if you were ever going to have a chance of winning a match. For my money, it was unlike any experience I have ever had, VR or otherwise, because it truly puts you, the player, in the game like never before. You were not playing as someone else, you were you in the game. However, now it's time to look towards the future. Thrill to Fight was a pretty small game in retrospect that was missing some key ingredients to make it feel like a top tier game. Today, we're going to look at some of those missing ingredients and talk about what I think is needed to really make this a AAA experience. How you doing, fellow geeks? GamerDad79 here. Now, before we move forward at all, I want to thank everyone who has turned out and watched my uh, Thrill to Fight versus Creed Rise to Glory video. It was a massive success here on the channel, uh, garnering over 23,000 views, uh, over 200 comments, and 590 likes. Now, that may not seem like a lot when you look at some of the bigger YouTubers, but for me here on the channel, that is a huge success. And so far, it is my most successful video here on the channel, so I thought, what would be better than to do a follow-up to that video? Now, for that follow-up, I didn't want to talk about the past. I didn't want to look towards the past. I didn't want to look at the game that is already out. I want to look towards the future. Sea Lost Interactive, the developers behind the original Thrill of the Fight, have announced that a sequel is already in the works and will be coming out. And let me just say, that is definitely on my radar. Thrill the Fight has become a massive part of my fitness routine, and for me, it's one of the most immersive experiences to date, so I'm really looking forward to this. So, in today's video, I am going to look at my top seven features I want to see implemented in Thrill the Fight 2. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Number seven, body work. Now, Thrill the Fight uh, has an incredible physics engine when it comes to the in-ring combat. You see cuts form on the person's face, eyes swell up, black and blue starts coming all over the torso, but the one thing that's missing is taking out your opponent with body shots. Now, currently, you can knock someone down with the body shots, but you can't knock them out due to the type of static animation that was used in creating the game. Now, if there's anything I've learned from the Rocky movies is that you take the fight out of somebody by going hard to the body. Seriously though, most fighters will agree that if you go to the body, you can take the fight out of an opponent. Adding in to put your opponent on the ground for good by constantly going to the body will add just another level of realism to a game that is already incredibly realistic. Number six, female fighters. Now this one's kind of a no-brainer because in the world of boxing, it's not just men going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the ring. Female boxers are a huge part of the sport and having representation for them in the game would be huge. 
Now, if you uh, search on Twitter and YouTube, you'll find that men are not the only ones using this game to, you know, get in shape and just have a really good, fun, fun and immersive time. Women are using it just as much as guys are. I think having a female division in Thrill the Fight 2 uh, will go a long way towards opening the game up to another subdivision of gamers who are looking to have uh, an experience just like Thrill the Fight. Now, this isn't like some other game where playing as someone as the opposite sex isn't that big of a deal. Like, I can go play, you know, the new Tomb Raider games and it doesn't matter that I'm playing a female. I'm having a great time. Um, now, when you enter the VR ring, that's something completely different. You want to be able to lose yourself in the experience and put yourself in the ring. Now, it's kind of hard to do that when you are facing off against, you know, someone of the opposite sex. Number five, customization. Now, the original Thrill to Fight was created by a one-man team. So, you know, I can forgive them for not, or forgive the game, for having kind of a bare-bones presentation. However, with the upcoming sequel, I would love to see the ability to customize your character. Now, Sea Lost has already announced that they will have some level of customization, which kind of makes sense because that will lead into another feature that we're going to talk about in just a few minutes. However, presentation can be particularly important to a lot of people because, you know, it was like for me, for instance, I would think it'd be really, really cool that your custom avatar will appear on like the, the fight banners that are around the ring, especially when you get into later fights, the bigger fights of your career. And, you know, it'd really be cool to see like your avatar on like a pre-fight scene where it talks about the tail of the tape, your wins, losses, all that kind of stuff. I think that'd be really cool to see your avatar there. Number four, presentation. Now, as I already said, uh, Thrill the Fight is extremely bare bones in its presentation. The game is laser focused on the in-ring action, which is amazing, but that comes at a price. Thrill the Fight is a no-frills affair. There is no pomp and circumstance to go along with the, you know, fantastic in-ring action. This is one area where I said in my previous video where I said, you know, Creed Rise to Glory outshone Thrill the Fight, and that's in its presentation. Um, you know, Creed was able to, to kind of give you that big fight feel that when you know when you watch the Rocky and Creed movies that you kind of get like you knew you were in for a big fight there was there was something special about what was going on in those fights you know the the game made you feel like you were a part of these big moments. Now in Thrill of the Fight 2, there are some things I would really like to see. Like I would love to see entrances for you and your opponent. I think that'd be really cool with some music pumping in the background. You make your way to your ring. You know, when all this is in, in first person, right? Is you're you're seeing this, you walk into the we walk into the ring, the crowd is cheering around you, you got your entourage. That'd be pretty awesome. I also want to see, or hear actually, commentary during the fight. That was something that was really cool in Creed as well, that when you were throwing these big punches and, and you had these big moments, the commentators reacted to that and it made the fight feel even bigger. You know, during my, you know, during the championship fight in Creed, in, excuse me, in Thrill the Fight 1, um... I forgot I was facing off against a champion because the only time that it was acknowledged was when you selected the fighter. It said heavyweight champion on the top. You know, when I finally beat him, I would expect to kind of be greeted by the announcer announcing, you know, and new heavyweight champion of the world. But, you know, that doesn't happen in Thrill of the Fight. That kind of feels like a bit of a letdown. You know, I, I, I want to see... I want to know how big of a moment this is. I want to feel how big of a moment it is that you just won the world title, the heavyweight champion, or whatever uh, you know weight class you belong into. I want to. See, I want to know that. I want to see how big of a of a, of a, of a moment this really is. Number three, spectator mode. So 
So this kind of also ties into uh, another feature I'm going to talk about a little bit later. Um, but I would really like to see a spectator mode implemented into the game. You know, imagine the stands during your fight, uh, not filled with a fake crowd, but real people watching your fight, real people cheering you on, gasping at all the rights moments and yelling for you to get up or stay down or whatever the case is. It would also be really cool that as a spectator, uh, you can interact with other members of the crowd. Like how cool would it be to turn to the person next to you and start talking about the fight? I mean, that would be pretty awesome. This would lend another level of immersion to the game that would just take it to the next level. Number two, corner advice. You're in the middle of a fight. Your opponent is giving you more of a challenge than, than you thought he would. He's going left when you thought he would go right. You've been on the mat twice already and he's anticipating everything that you're throwing at him. You're lost. You don't know what to do. So where do you look? Your corner. Your manager, your trainer should be yelling in your ear in between rounds telling you what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and what you need to do to win the fight. Now that would truly make this a really immersive game. And last but not least, number one, multiplayer. Yep, if you follow this game at all on any type of social media, you will know that this is probably the most requested feature for Thrill of the Fight 2. In a game that already has incredible levels of realism, fighting off against a real live opponent would just take it to the next level. Send this game into the stratosphere. Now, some of the features I've mentioned that I would like to see kind of tie into multiplayer. For instance, customization. Customization would be a huge thing for a multiplayer game now, right? Because when I look across the ring, I don't want to see a carbon copy of myself. I want to see a unique avatar that represents the person that I'm fighting. The other feature that would kind of tie into this would be like a spectator mode, right? You know, how awesome would it be that you're not just uh, sitting in a lobby waiting for a fight, you're in the arena watching the fight that's happening in front of you as you're waiting to queue up. How cool would that be? Now, either way, even if these things don't happen, multiplayer will add just another level of realism to this game. You know, it just, it's just, it's gonna be amazing. Now, the good news is, Sea Lost has announced that multiplayer will be a day one feature for Thrill of the Fight 2. So, as soon as that game comes out, we'll be able to beat the crap out of each other. All right, fellow geeks, that is it for today's video. Uh, now, Thrill the Fight 2 is in the very early stages of development, so Sea Lost has not had much to share on how the game is going beyond telling us that we're going to have multiplayer and there's, there is going to be a level of customization to the game. Um, but rest assured, when new information is shared... GamerDad79 is going to let you know what's coming for Thrill to Fight 2. So let me know in the comments section below what you thought of my list and what features do you want to see implemented for Thrill to Fight 2. So until next time, fellow geeks, keep on geeking on.